Show of hands. Who used to think that the previous generations of the Mazda Miata were, how should I put this, a little feminine? Me too, <laughs> but not anymore. I'm Chris from Auto Academics, and today we're going to take a look at the 2016 Mazda MX-5 Miata. Now before the purists get too up in arms, you need to know that I've always respected the Miata for its racing pedigree, as well as its capabilities as a sports car that didn't require approval of a second mortgage prior to ownership. And while each successive generation added flavor to its exterior design, it wasn't until this fourth generation that my attention had been caught. Our tester this time around is a Soul Red 2016 Mazda MX-5 Miata Grand Touring. Standard equipment includes 17-inch alloy wheels wrapped in 205-45 series high-performance tires, LED headlights and daytime running lights, and power side mirrors. Inside you'll find a leather-wrapped steering wheel, shift knob, and handbrake, heated leather trim sport seats, Bose 9 speaker audio with speakers in the headrest, 7-inch color touchscreen with navigation, and multifunction commander control. A full suite of safety features is also present, including tire pressure monitoring, blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic alert, lane departure warning, adaptive front lighting, and of course, stability and traction control. Optional equipment consists of the sole red paint, rear lip spoiler, advanced keyless entry, and the Sport GT appearance package that adds a front air dam, side sill extensions, and rear bumper skirt. Total MSRP is $32,880. Mazda states that the design of the fourth generation MX-5 is almost as exciting to look at as it is to drive. And I'd have to agree. This MX-5 also has a weight balance percentage of 53 to 47 front to rear. Now that might sound like an unbalanced recipe on the track, but Mazda states that it's a near perfect balance once the driver is behind the wheel. The fenders look as if they were stretched over each wheel, providing a tailored fit that only this car could wear and the optional appearance package only adds to the Miata's determined look. In back, the rounded tail lamps offer a nod to the MX-5's heritage, and it should be no surprise that the trunk only holds four and a half cubic feet of stuff. What is surprising is that you get all that space whether the top is up or down. Motivating the MX-5 as a Skyactiv G 2.0-liter 4-cylinder engine that makes 155 horsepower, 148 pound-feet of torque. Gears are rode via a Skyactiv MT 6-speed manual transmission that, as with all pure sports cars, powers the rear wheels. Now 148 pounds lighter, the 2016 Miata reaches 60 miles per hour in a recorded 6.1 seconds and completes the quarter mile in 14.7 seconds at 93.2 miles per hour. EPA estimated fuel economy is rated at 27 miles per gallon city, 34 miles per gallon highway, with a combined rating of 30 miles per gallon. Auto Academics saw an impressive 33.2 miles per gallon during testing on premium fuel. Obviously, a defining trait of the Miata is its top. It's fabric with a glass rear window, and it's simple to put up and take down. All you do is Undo these latches, push it back, and snap it into place. Looks good, top up or down. So now that we're inside the driver's seat, let's talk about the driver's seat. First, you have to be young, or at least young at heart, to get in this car, because it's lower than any other Miata before it, which basically throws graceful entry and exit out the window. Once inside, however, the seats cradle you in a comfortable and supportive way, making your previous embarrassment worth it. I love the contrast stitching, I love the ergonomics, and I love the top of the door panels that match the color of the car. What I don't love is the placement of the glove box or the cup holders. Thoughtfully, these can be moved to a different location if needed. 
And finally, there's one less spot behind the seats for something else small. So now it's time to take her out and see how she drives. Now, as you might expect, driving in this fourth generation MX-5 Miata, it's actually a joy. I mean, this car, it's compact, it handles fantastic, and the two liter four cylinder engine makes decent power. You can surprisingly hold a decent conversation while the top is down. And even on hot days like today, if you have the air conditioner turned up pretty high, you can even be pretty comfortable as well. As I mentioned earlier, these seats are comfortable and they hold you in place very nicely, especially when you're doing some spirited driving. And you have a low seated position as well, sitting down inside of this car like a true sports car is supposed to be. You can use these big fenders to help guide you as to where the tires are going to go. And the steering is very direct, pointing the car in whatever direction you move your hands toward. Now, for those of you who don't know, the Miata isn't a super fast car, but it's decent enough. This six-speed manual transmission has fantastic uh, feel and uh, throws. They're nice and short. They kind of snick into place. And because this car only weighs about a little over 2,300 pounds, that allows for this little four-cylinder engine that only makes 155 horsepower and 148 pound-feet of torque to keep it kind of fun. I've always admired the Miata, particularly for its adeptness on a true racetrack. It's a well-balanced vehicle, and it just is a good, inexpensive platform for racers. And now that this car actually looks nice too, well, that just makes it more of a gem in my eyes. Now, as with all little sports cars, there are some concessions that you have to make. This car does not have a lot of space, so that means you can only take two people at max and you can't take them very far because there's not that much room for their luggage. But, who cares? <laughs> the exhaust even got a little pop back there. <laughs> What's funny is, People in general don't pay the Miata much mind. They know that it's a cute little car, but that's about it. However, in the few days that I've been driving this car, especially in this color, I've been getting a number of looks from other people driving way cooler cars. And I can only <laughs> imagine that they're looking saying, oh man, what kind of car is that? That's a Miata? <laughs> yep, it is. So there you have it guys, the 2016 Mazda MX-5 Miata. To be honest, I don't have a special closing for this car. It's as good, if not better than before, on the street and the track. And frankly, the Miata now is pretty cool. I'm Chris Model Academics. Thanks for watching.